Hi, in this video you will learn about one of the key features of any wiki, collaboration. You and your team are working on the same documents and create something together. So for us, having a BPMN modeling tool within a wiki means making it as collaborative as possible. I will show you how to use these collaboration features of our BPMN model of enterprise. How to use a change log when saving your diagram. Version control. How to compare two versions of a diagram. Commenting on process elements. I will show you how to use these collaboration features of our BPMN Modeler Enterprise. How to use a change log when saving your diagram. Version control. How to compare two versions of a diagram. Commenting on process elements. When saving a conference page, you may add a comment for the change log. This is a brief summary of what you changed so your colleagues don't have to compare the versions in order to find out what you did. The same thing is possible when saving a BPMN process. I have opened the process in the BPMN editor. ChangeLog is a feature which isn't turned on by default. In order to use it, you need to open the settings dialog. There you enable the ChangeLog. And save the settings. The settings apply to this particular BPMN model only. Now let me make a small change to the model so we'll have something that can be saved. When I click save, the modeler asks me to add a description. I put something in here and save it. Next, I will open version control. I click file and version control. This is a list of all versions so far and as you can see, it includes the change log. If I wanted to, I could go back to an older version. But for now, I'm fine. Of course, the change log only has room for a small summary of what you changed. This is why we included a detailed comparison. But first I will make a few more changes. There are different types of changes that will be differentiated in the comparison. First I add something. Second I remove something. Third I rename something. I save it. Now I click View and Compare Diagram Versions. Every time I save, there will be a new version in here. I will pick the version that I want to compare. It's the last one and the third to last one because I want to include the layout change from the beginning. We use color coding to highlight different types of changes. Red means that something has been removed. Green means that something has been added. Blue means that there was just a change of layout. And orange represents any other change, like the renamed task. For example, the task I added is highlighted in green. If I want a full list of changes, I click down here on List of Changes. The version comparison prevents you from missing any changes just because they weren't mentioned in the change log. The next feature I want to tell you about are comments. Let's assume someone else in my team edits this task, runs some checks, and I have doubts whether this is a good idea or I do not understand what it means. I can add a comment right here. What kind of checks? Sure enough, I could send them an email or add a comment to the wiki page as well, but then I would have to explain which tasks I mean. With this commenting feature, I already have all the context I need. My colleagues can answer my question by adding another comment. Comments can be hidden so they won't disturb a reader who isn't interested in your discussions. This is the last functionality I'm going to introduce today. Make sure to check out other videos like linking or importing and exporting. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions regarding our BPMN model enterprise, please ask. And if you require any additional features for better collaboration with your team, please let us know.